So today we're going to take a look at the new macOS Ventura feature for copying text from live videos. So what we've done here is we've come onto YouTube and we're going to try a different couple of different types of videos to see if we can copy the text from actually what it looks like. So first of all I found this programming tutorial from Programming with Mosh and we're just going to copy the text. As you can see we can copy it's, it's paused at the moment we can play it and then we've got a hook sometimes it's a bit it's a little bit buggy we just skip back a couple of seconds that's this text you can see if we hover over it for a bit sometimes that the little like the selector icon appears so if we just highlight it like that you can see that we've done that if we just command c and we're going to try a few different things because i want to see how the text comes out first off we're going to put it into text edit and you can see it looks like that it's not completely accurate as you can see this 19 plus 1 here is like that and in text edit it's put the 1 on a separate line so that's not amazing for this type of thing let's put it in microsoft word and see what it looks like in there in microsoft word it's done the same thing but as you can see it's taken out like if you copied it from another like type of web page or something it might keep the style in with it and it hasn't on here you c it's mostly right, we could easily fix this just by putting this on the same line like that if we were to do so. So that's what it looks like, we'll just skip to somewhere else in this video and we'll try it again. Sometimes it doesn't always work when it's in like a small scale like this, but sometimes you have to blow it up into the big like full screen. And if you see here on this RAW 5 on this program video, you see this like little sign, this like arrow thing, that sometimes comes up as a D as I've seen in testing. If we just clear this out, paste in the new stuff. You see, it hasn't done it this time, I don't think. Or has it? Yeah, see where the else is? Here, if we unhighlight that. You see where the little tick is next to the else? It's actually put it as a D, like that. See, it's D else now. That's one of the problems with this. I thought this feature would be good for programming. It still is quite good in a way, but it needs a little bit of tweaking. Maybe they can work on that in a future update. Because obviously nothing's perfect on release. Always like stuff like software. Try it in the other one, as you can see, looks decent. So next we're going to go over to one of my videos, and this video is obviously from a couple of days ago time of filming this, and we're going to see if we can copy text from this video off a website that I am recording. And if we copied that line there, and we put it into here, we'll just delete this text, you can see that it comes up, and that looks to be exactly how it was. Even down to the line, if we put it in here, you can see it's even down to like, the format and where these last few words are on a separate line and if we move around it does copy some of the other like these bullet point sections here so if we try and highlight this it, like i say it's not it's not the best if we blow this up into full screen it should work a little bit better and we copy that and put this in like word we'll just get rid of that text and as you can see there it is with like the bullet point as you can see there it is and on that the screen that was actually on two lines and this time we put it all on one. So it's an interesting and useful feature in a way. It's not quite there yet. Hopefully in like an update or two, they'll, they'll iron out some of the bugs. They'll may see this video and see you know, what we can improve on. But I think it's a cool feature. I do like it. I like that you can copy text on images on like your iPhone and that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. What do you think of this feature? And I'll see you next time.